MCI Testing is an independent automotive research firm specializing in unbiased comparative evaluations of automotive products. They just completed dynamic testing between two of the world's most stunning GT Coupes, and I'm here, well, to confirm it all for myself. This is the Aston Martin DB11, the latest in a long line of brutish and legendary high-performance automobiles. The DB11 is an utterly heart-pounding sports car with a price tag to match. They tested the DB11 against the Lexus LC500, a brand new entry into the category. With less power and at less than half the cost, on paper, the LC500 doesn't stack up against the DB11. So are we to assume that the LC500 isn't in the same league as the DB11? That's what I want to find out. AMCI testing's closed course contains a series of highly technical elements critical in the evaluation of handling performance. It's a true test of a car's responsiveness. Wow. When those twin turbos spool up, you can really feel the power and the torque but it is a very sophisticated ride, very stable. Seems a little bit nitpicky, but these seats don't actually support you as much as you'd think. I'll tell you what, overall, that is a drilling ride. The DB11 has loads of power and shattering performance. Now, let's check out the LC500. Straight out of the gate, the LC500 really gives me a sense of confidence a feeling of sure-footedness. The steering is very fast, very nimble, very accurate. Wow, as I turn in here, it almost draws you into the corner. It engages, and I guess that's due in part to the four-wheel steer. It actually propels you from corner to corner. You hit the throttle in the LC500, you get a real sense of confidence. For me, that is one of the most important things that any car can give you. Based on AMCI testing certified times and what I just felt for myself, it's fair to say that there is performance parity between the DB11 and the LC500. But let's dig a little deeper, shall we, and look at two of the challenging elements of the course. First, the slalom. It accelerates so fast that entry speed into the first pylon is extremely fast. Very stable, predictable. Just like I'd expect from an Aston Martin. Wow, the steering's quick. Amazing turning, obviously due in part to that four-wheel steering. I can push the LC500 right up to the edge of braking away, but then it gives me tons of advance warning, both to the steering wheel and, of course, my backside. In the slalom, I too felt no significant difference in speed and responsiveness. The course contains a 180 degree corner, but let's push the limits a bit. Let's replicate AMCI testing scenario with the corner fully soaked. As you can imagine, vast reservoirs of power that requires judicious utilization, but manageable if you know what you're doing. Again, four wheel steering is keeping the car so well balanced just here, there's a touch of understeer, but I can easily balance it with the throttle. AMCI testing has certified that the Lexus LC500 and the Aston Martin DB11 are nearly identical in overall handling performance, even though the LC500 is far less expensive than the DB11. Considering that and both cars' sheer beauty, I must say, it is a persuasive alternative. 